Broken cinder blocks and twisted metal. All that's left of an apartment building once home to more than 40 people. Saturday afternoon, a call came from someone identifying himself as Rami from the Israeli military. Leave the building now, we're going to bomb it, he told Hossam Nabhan. Don't bomb the whole building, Hossam pleaded. Just hit the apartment of the guilty person. There are disabled people here. Once the building was empty, it was bombed. No one was killed or injured. لأن ما توقعتش واحد في المية ينهدم بيت معاقين بيت معاقين ينهدم. Reached for comment, the Israeli military didn't go into specifics, merely claiming they struck command and control centers used by Islamic Jihad for the planning of terrorist activities against Israel. Building residents insisted they didn't know who the target was. Whoever it might have been, this is the result. Dozens of people left without a roof over their heads. Her neighbor, Bilal Nabhan, is in shock. With only scattered ceasefire violations, calm has returned for now. Gaza's markets are open again. For the more than two million residents cooped up in this narrow strip of land, there is no expectation of lasting peace. 56-year-old Musallam, a butcher, has lived through all Gaza's woes. The conflict, he says, will continue until Judgment Day. Armed struggle isn't the priority for most here. They're weary of it all. Faded as they are, trying to find their way through this never-ending vortex of sporadic violence. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Gaza.